This is Billboard. Who am I? Harry Hudson. Get to know me, only if you want to. Where did I grow up? See, there's a lot of places I grew up, mentally and physically, but both mentally and physically with more Van Nuys, California. My guilty pleasure, that's such an exotic question, neck kisses or foot massages. Foot massages for sure. If I can collaborate with any artist, who would it be? Honestly, I want to put Cardi B, Bruce Springsteen on a song together. If a genie granted me one wish right now, what would I wish for? Honestly, a four hour conversation with Cardi B. Just four hours sit down, tea time, just to really chop it up. If someone was gonna play me in a movie, Woody from Toy Story. Absolutely. Biggest accomplishment, beating cancer. I think, I think waking up every morning is the biggest accomplishment I can give myself. If I was an animal, what animal would I be? Probably a lemur. What's the best advice Kylie has ever given me? Just go do it. Do it big and don't do it never. That's what she told me. Do it big and don't do it never. The first place I've ever performed music is actually, let me tell you listeners here. First, right here on the stage. See this thing? They had me right here performing. I was sweating, my, I was nervous. But that was my first show ever, was right here on Billboard Live. The inspiration behind my album was really just finding hope and finding love within myself. I was very depressed for a long time in my life until I was like, you know what, I'm gonna start living. You know, because I got diagnosed with cancer when I was 20 and I was just very confused in my life and I wanted to live a life true to myself. I didn't love myself at the time. So the album and everything is just very important and it's just light and it's just searching for happiness in this life and being present in the moment now. If I had to describe my music in one word, wow, gargantuan. The song that you should listen to first on my album is the first song on my album. It's a story from front to back, first to last. It takes you from this dark place to this light place. It's the journey of hope. Why should people listen to my music to figure out how to love yourself. I mean, I don't, I don't like to force people to listen to my music. I just say, listen, if you're hopeful, if you want to figure out how to love yourself, if you're depressed, if you want to find light in your life, listen to my music. If you don't and you're an awful person, still listen to my music and hopefully it can help you. But I don't like to throw it down your throat or your ears. So what should I do when I'm dark and I'm blue?